It's Chucks Moran in here with the film breakdown and evaluation of Michigan State running back Kenneth Walker III. Walker measured in at the NFL Combine at 5 foot 9 inches tall, 211 pounds, with 30 and 3 eighths inch arms and 9 and 1 half inch hands. One of the things that makes Walker so great, and you're going to see it repeatedly in this video with other plays, is his ability to make not only the first defender miss, but the second and third and all the ensuing defenders miss as well. His anticipation and vision are remarkable. You're going to see on the play, another zone run. He's going to cut it to the inside here and look at this cut because he's going to anticipate these defenders here crashing down, especially this one. So he's going to make stick his foot in the ground and make this cut to the outside. That is amazing agility and anticipation to see that when he does and make that move putting these moves together seamlessly that is an impressive play he didn't catch a lot of passes in college but i honestly think that's more of a result of usage than it is his lack of skill when i see him catch the ball he looks very comfortable and he looks like a very good receiver on this play, he does something very subtle. So watch him on this check down in the flat. First, he catches away from his frame with his hands very comfortably. Now I want you to see this move he does. After he catches the ball, it's a slight hesitation right there. You see that slight hesitation? That freezes this defender ever so slightly, just for a split second. And because of that, he has just enough room to slip that tackle and get into the end zone. Again, I'm going to play it again. Catch that little fake right there is, is what he needs to slip by him and score the touchdown. Walker is so elusive, and one of the reasons for that is his burst. His vertical burst is, is really, really good. So here on this play, he's going to take the handoff, and he's got a defender with penetration here, and he's got one right here too, but he's going to attack this lane right here. That's his angle. Watch him attack that angle aggressively. And then this move to the outside, if you saw that jab step, to get this defender off balance. And now he has an alleyway between these two defenders. And look at the contact balance right there. Breaks both the defenders and makes that defender miss. Number 26. So I'm going to rewind it. Let's play from the beginning. There's that burst to get north-south. And then that jab step to create enough room for him to slip the two tackles and then right after he gets out of those those, ta those two tackles puts his foot on the ground makes an impressive jump cut here's a pretty neat play by walker he's going to be one on two it's him against two defenders but look at him make both of them miss two stiff arms in a row back to back and he picks up positive yards on a play that should have been a loss. Here we go, cuts it back. One stiff arm, two stiff arms, and pick up positive yards. You know how I always talk about running backs when they're special, they create yards for themselves? Well, here's Walker doing just that. So, zone run, he's going to press inside first before bouncing to the outside. Now, you've got two defenders that are going to try to get him down. Look at the high-end athleticism here, but he's going to take away that inside hip just enough to avoid that tackle. He stays on his feet. That's impressive enough. Now watch him against number 34. Stiff arm, contact balance, and the athleticism and wherewithal to reach for the touchdown. That's just a running back, a special running back creating on his own and making a play. Here he is once again, just creating yards for himself. He's going to take this, press outside, then in, and then look at him make this defender miss with that cut. And then he's already, look, look at his eyes. He's looking to the left. to be. He wants to cut this back, and he knows he's going to. He's going to make that cut, and that leaves these two defenders for who are over-pursuing just in his dust. And then he's going to push forward. Look at him just push that pile forward. Walker wants to score another touchdown here. And look at him one-on-one -on -one with this defender. Look at the quick feet. Look at him set up this defender. Makes him miss in tight space. 
and gets in for the touchdown. That's just insane ability to make defenders miss in tight space. Quick feet. Awesome play. The Spartans are trying to come back down by eight and they're going to get a huge play from Walker here and look at his patience as he's going to wait and then right when he sees this lane now he's going to use that great burst that he has get north south avoid defenders and he's in for the for the clutch touchdown for the Spartans here's the end zone angle and look at the patience so he's going to wait and then he's going to see this this lane right here but he knows he has to clear this defender who has penetration. So he's going to wait. And he's going to make that defender miss. He takes away that, that hip. Look at the bend. And now he can get north-south. Look at the burst and the speed to take it the distance for the touchdown. Michigan State down by three. And another clutch play by Walker here. Look at him get skinny. Look at the explosion in that burst. And he's in for another touchdown, this time to put the Spartans up. End zone angle for this play. And this is a zone read. And I want you to watch Walker's footwork right there. You see that little step? That's important because that does help your blockers. It helps them set up these blocks here because it pushes the flow of the defense to the left. So he's going to use that jab step to help open up this lane. And then he's going to get skinny through this lane here. And then the rest is easy. Now Michigan State's trying to close out the game. Note the clock. And look at Walker here. So at the mesh point, he's got defenders just all around him. He's got a defender here. And he's got a defender on the back side. Now watch what he does. Look at how low he gets on this spin move here. And that's going to create that, that defender. His ankles are broken. And he gets in the way of the, the backside defender there. And now Walker has room to run, gets positive yards, and gets down before hitting the sideline. And on this play, I want you to keep an eye on this defender, number 18, the linebacker. And watch Walker. Watch his patience here to just lure that linebacker in. And then he makes a miss and then makes this run happen for the first down. I mean, this is just fun stuff. This is fun stuff. Look at him. Wait, wait, wait. Now that he's even with the linebacker, now he's able to get to the outside. Make him miss with his elusiveness. That's stiff arm. Another stiff arm to that defender. And then gets the big game. You want more proof that Walker is an underrated receiver and does have good hands? Watch this play. He's going to leak out and then look at him adjust. The pass is behind him there and then he's going to transition to a runner get some extra yards after the catch but again look at the play look at the catch throw is behind him but he's comfortably going to catch it away from his body and then he's going to quickly transition to a runner make defenders miss as he usually does and gets a good gain kenneth walker the third projects as an elite starting running back who can run both zone and gap schemes for an offense and is capable of taking on a full workload he is a high-level physical athlete with elite agility, great explosiveness, great contact balance, and good top-end speed. He's a smart runner with great vision at all levels of the field. When you combine that with his poise, anticipation of oncoming defenders, tempo, and pacing, it makes for a high rate of explosive plays. He consistently creates yards for himself and forces missed tackles in various ways. In addition, he plays with fearlessness and isn't shy about punishing defenders with leverage and power. There really aren't any glaring weaknesses to Walker's game, but if I'm going to nitpick, I'd point out his tendency to rely on cut blocks a little too often in pass protection. He may not have an extensive resume as a receiver, but that's a result of lack of usage as opposed to lack of ability. When called upon, he displayed soft hands and comfortability catching away from his body. Overall, Walker is a special running back who deserves to be taken in the first round of the NFL draft and would offer tremendous value as a selection in round two or three.